Hello, everyone. I'm Melissa Patsinski with Gilda's Club Grand Rapids. I'm so grateful that we can all come together while we're staying safe. I hope that you and your family are all well and you're enjoying this beautiful spring weather we're having. If you're new to Gilda's Club and you don't know what we're about and you're on a cancer and grief journey and you would like to get connected to our free support program, please give us a call at 453-8300 or look on our website at www.gildasclubgr.org. If you're enjoying this episode and you would like to let us know about that, please make a comment, like this post. If you think that this would be helpful for someone else or you want to share it, please do. We want to share the wealth here at Gilda's Club and we want to reach as many people as we can. So today we have a family workshop and we're going to read a book and have an activity. And we have two really wonderful guests with us today. And you would never know it, but they're coming from all the way across the country in Colorado. And so we're so glad to have Karen Nielsen with us. She is a member at Gilda's Club. She is also a breast cancer survivor. Yay! How many years has it been? Is it two? Not five. It was 2056. Wow! Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And she is many things. She's enjoying her retirement. And she is a Mormor, which is a uh, Swedish. No, I said that wrong. Yes. Swedish oh. for grandmother. Swedish word for grandmother. And she has with her today her favorite person in the world to read to. And his name is Connor. Hi, Connor. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for being with us on this program. We're so excited to have you. I understand that you and Mormor often read together. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. How do you do it when she lives here in Michigan and you live in Colorado? How do you make that happen? Um, like on this device called a portal, there's like, um, I like a a thing that says story time and usually she just presses it and she reads the book. Oh, very cool. I had no idea that was available. Yeah, it's very cool because the book is animated then. So the child sees the book and it also incorporates the reader into the animation. Oh, really? I'm going to have to, you're going to have to send me some information on that. I think we're going to have to try that. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. And Connor, do you have a favorite book on the portal that you read together? Um, not so much. I kind of like a few of them. You kind of like, is there a certain kind of book you like? Mm -hmm. No? Do you just like them all? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Karen, do you have a favorite book you like to read to him? Oh, geez. Uh, there's, there's a Dr. Seuss books, even though there's a little bit of political problem with him right now, but I like his books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they're fun to read. They are, the verbiage is so incredible. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's great. Well, good. Well, thank you again for being with us. And I think we'll probably get started. We have a wonderful book about just tapping into our most important part in our body, and that is our heart, which is a physical part of our, of our body, but it's also a, um, what do I want to say, an emotional part of our body, right? So it's got two jobs. It helps keep all the blood moving around in us. And it also helps us feel and stay connected. So I'm excited to hear this book. Are you excited to read this book, Connor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Pardon? You <laughs> too, Karen? Hey! <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go off screen. So forgive us while we get this all set up here. All right, here we go. So go. you want me to begin? Yep, go ahead, Karen. Okay. In my heart, 
a book of feelings. Do I turn the page? Oh no, it just turns, oh, it's a, a slideshow, I see. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Wow. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast. I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. Boom! She looks mad, eh? Mm -hmm. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. Oh, that sounds good. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Oh, look at that. It's a band-aid. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. Wow, look at that elephant. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching toward the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. That is so scary. Yeah. We're not too scary. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra. I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Does your heart feel silly sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I hide my heart away when no one can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. Does that happen to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My heart can feel so many feelings and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? Happy. Happy, that's great. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you for reading that. Connor, oh, go ahead. Great book. Yeah, it's one of our favorites at Gilda's Club. Connor, I loved your talking about, oh, sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I have seen that. And uh, so what was your favorite part of the book? Um... 
when I would like a monster because sometimes um, that happens to me. Yeah, sometimes you your heart feels scared. Yeah, and what do you do when your heart feels scared? What helps you to feel better? Lay down. To lay down. Do you have a, a particular blanket or a place you like to lay down? I have a particular blanket. Ah, and so do you wrap yourself in your blanket or you hold it? What do you do? I'm um, not, not wrap myself. You wrap yourself and then you start to feel safer? Uh -huh. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that you have a way to help yourself to feel safe. That's really important. I saw uh, him do this just this afternoon, Melissa. Really? Uh, Grandpa and I picked him up from school and he had a little accident and hurt himself. And he got quite upset of many of those feelings. Sad, angry, and when we got home, mommy wasn't here, she's working. And so he knew what to do. He went into his room, he got into his blanket, under his blanket, and in, in about 10, 15 minutes, he felt better. Oh, that is great. Hey, Connor, can you give yourself a good pat on the back and tell yourself, good job. Good job. Yeah, that was great taking care of yourself. You knew just what you needed to do. And your grant, your more and more, you should say good job to you because you allowed him to do it and really just watched and learned from Connor about how he helps himself. Yeah, it, I get the goosebumps as you speak because that's exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so uh, great. Watching him take care of himself was very, very cool. It was a really good job, I mean, very good, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Karen, what was your favorite part of the book? Oh, I loved I loved the, the pictures of the hearts and the different expressions on the characters um, and how each page had a different feeling and something, words associated with the feeling. As, as it relates to your heart. I just thought it was really well written about feelings in the heart on a child uh, level that all can understand. Yeah, yeah I would agree. That's it, it just the colors are fantastic in there. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, we use this book often at Gilda's Club to talk about especially in the beginning when we're first getting together in our groups about what's in our heart. So what do you say we do that activity? You guys ready for it? I'm already done. You already did it. Oh my goodness. Can you tell us about your heart? Tell us about that. My heart is happy since I'm calm. Oh, your heart is happy since you're calm. And you put lots of colors all the way around it. Yeah. That is so great. So we can explain a little bit. Thank you for showing us that. Is that all you need is a piece of paper. You can get some pencils. You can get markers. What do you have, Connor? I have uh, markers, pencils, and crayons in one big box. Um, Look at that. That's awesome. And what did you use to color that one? Did you use all different things? I used crayons, and I, and I made it a rainbow. Nice. Oh, I and love that. I'm put my markers on it. All right. So all you got to do is draw a heart right on that piece of paper. Make sure that you ask your adult in the house for a piece of paper. They might have some scrap papers around that they're not using anymore. Sometimes at our house, we use an envelope because we usually throw those, after we open the mail, we throw those envelopes away. Actually, we recycle them. And so we often use envelopes to do a lot of things. So you just draw a heart and then you can color in your heart. And you can color it like Connor did, like all around it, like the book did. I loved that you did that just like the book did it. It colored all the way around it. Or you can color inside of it. I colored inside my heart and I colored in a way that my heart is feeling and so full disclosure we have a little bit of illness going on in our family my mother's not feeling very well so I'm a little bit sad 
today about that. So I used blue to show that. And it's not my whole heart. My whole heart's not sad, just part of my heart. And, and it feels kind of swirly to me a little bit. So that's what I did. And then purple, because I'm feeling that creative bug that, that uh, Connor is showing us. Purple to me cre is creative. And I'm <laughs> loving All right, we did the same thing. So now I'm just making lots of multiple hearts. Oh, I can't wait to see what you've added to it. So, and then I used red because I'm so happy and full of love that you guys are on this show with us and you've, you know, donated your time and effort and your skills of reading and sharing uh, with us your relationship and things you do. I'm just so grateful for that. Yeah. Thank so you for kind of, the opportunity, Melissa. Very, oh, very grateful. Oh, that's great. Connor, you want to show us what you did next? Well, I'm not done yet with the hearts. Okay. Karen, did you make one? No, I'm just enjoying watching him and you. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what colors might be in your heart if you make one? Okay. Um, I think happy, so that's red. I'm very happy, uh, ex extremely happy to be here with Connor. I'm happy that he's um, wanting to participate here with us and, um, and that, yeah, he's enjoying it. And I love to see he's getting the message. Yeah. So I think my entire heart is, is red, happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I'm imagining this heart like vibrating out like this. That's great. Oh, I love it. All right, Connor, let's see. You added a few things to your heart while we were talking. Do you want to explain those to us? Um, so this heart. Yeah. Uh, doing this sign with um, love. And, yes. Uh, that one's happy, that one's happy, that one's happy, and that one's happy, and that one's happy too. <laughs> Great. So I have two questions for you. You ready? Mm -hmm. I noticed that the heart in the middle now has cool blue hair. Is mm -hmm. that what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's the blue hair about? I don't know. I just wanted to add it. Yeah. Just creativity. Just fun. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I'm going to add something. To the okay. Blue. Well, can I ask you the other question while you're while you're drawing? Yeah. What's purple about? What do you think purple says for you? What feeling? Um, creative. Ah, yes. And you really got that going on today. <laughs> yeah. Now the oh. he's actually he's actually a guitar player. I love it. He's got kind of red hair like yours, doesn't he? I love it. I didn't tell you this before, but our youngest child has red hair also, and we love his hair. Yep. And you know, his hair, their hair is down to here. Yep. I love, I love your hair too. Thanks. You're welcome. So uh, that's all I have today. Do you have anything else? No. We have Is mom home? Guest here. Oh, hello, Annika. Welcome Hi. home from work. <laughs> oh, I was just grocery shopping. So, okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for letting us have your mom and your son on oh. for Facebook Live and doing a reading and this activity together. It's been really great. Totally. Yeah. I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up now because you probably have other things to do. Okay. Well, I just, okay. I just want to say for all of you who are watching, if you make a heart and you want to show us, you can take a picture of it and put it right on our Facebook Live show or um, Facebook Live post. Oh, that looks like a really cool game. Yeah, I'm going to play it right now because it's actually oh. pretty new. Yeah, it looks like it hasn't even been opened. You'll, you'll have to let me know how that goes. 
We're just saying goodbye to everyone. Are you ready to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye. So thank you for being with us. If you're interested in Gilda's Club, please let us know. Gilda's Club Grand Rapids dot org or 453-8300. We hope that you're all staying safe and well, and we'll all see you soon. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.